Hey, this is Danny from Scare Talk. Uh, Before we get into all the horror greatness, I got to let you know about Anchor. Anchor is the host site that we use to record our podcast. Um, Anchor will upload your podcast to Apple and Spotify and many other listening platforms. Anchor is completely free. And you can download the app or go to the website, anchor.fm. And you can record straight on there. There's also some cool editing tools that you can use. Um, Did I mention that it's free? Yeah, so if you want to make a podcast, Anchor is the way to go. Um, Yeah, go check it out. Now, for the spooky stuff. Welcome to Scare Talk. And welcome to... The review series of the franchise, Saw. Oh, yeah. This is Scare Talk. I am Danny, and I'm here with Jigsaw Joel. Oh, man. First time you use that one, aren't you? I know. <laughs> the one's just, just so in your face that, yeah. you know, <laughs> missed it. <laughs> hey, guys, what's up? <laughs> Today, we're back with some more Saw stuff. We're going to talk about Saw 7 3D, the final <laughs> chapter. Yeah. White title. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if Seven's actually in the title. I think it's officially it, Saw, the final chapter. It is, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but when you watch it, the like title uh, comes up on the screen and it says Saw 3D. Mm. So, yeah, there you go. There are some very 3D moments in this movie. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, okay, who is in this? <clears throat> All right. So this one stars Sean Patrick Flannery. He plays Bobby. Um, he was in Powder, The Boondock Saints 1 and 2. 53 episodes of The Young and the Restless. <laughs> Oh, and wow. a TV show called The Young Indiana Jones Chronicles. That was from 92 to 93. And then again, 95 to 99, where he plays Indiana Jones. Hmm. Plus, they made four um, TV movie Indiana Jones movies wow. along with that. So, yeah, he's... Um, <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know. I didn't know that either until, <laughs> until I looked it up here. Um, also, Betsy Russell. She's Jill. This is the first time... Uh, since what saw four that I've mentioned her, <laughs> I think that was the first movie she, or saw three, first one she was in. Yeah, she was in Chain Letter, Camp <laughs> Fear, and Saws three through seven. Okay, <laughs> and then Carrie Elwes. So this was the one that I was having an issue with if I was going to mention him or mention somebody else because he. Doesn't get a whole lot of screen time in this movie, but he is a pretty vital part of this movie. Um, mm-hmm. He's the doctor. He is in Black Christmas 2019. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yes, he is. Hansel and Grell get baked. <laughs> <laughs> the 1992 version of Dracula, which is my personal favorite uh, okay. Dracula movie. And Mission Impossible 7, which oh. is being released next year, I believe. Okay. Cool. And I have a couple honorable mentions. Um, Tobin Bell is one of them. I mean, this is the first time I didn't mention him in the top three. Um, he doesn't get a whole lot of screen time in this movie, a little bit here and there. Um, and also, Chester Bennington mm-hmm. makes an appearance. That's right. Um, Lincoln Park uh, singer. So he's his, yeah, his part is pretty small, but it's pretty intense scene (laughs) that he's in yeah for sure (laughs) um so we've talked about the writers of this before it's written by patrick melton and marcus dunston they um they wrote saw four through seven the collector uh collection collected um feast one through three piranha 3dd (laughs) and also scary stories to tell in the dark and this was directed by Kevin Grudert. He directed Visions, Jackals, and Incident on 459, which is in pre-production right now. <laughs> okay. So it hasn't come out yet. So that is what we got for Saul, the final chapter. All right. Uh, so the synopsis, 
As a deadly battle rages over Jigsaw's brutal legacy, a group of Jigsaw survivors gather to seek the support of self-help guru and fellow survivor Bobby Dagen, a man whose own dark secrets unleash a new wave of terror. <laughs> so, oh man, this is the final chapter, but not really. Yeah, not really. <laughs> <laughs> there is one other film after this, and then another one coming out. So, yep, and then possibly more after that, depending on how well Spiral does. Yep, true. <clears throat> Actually, I think in Saw 10, I think we talked about this, it's already in like pre-production right now. Yeah, yeah. So they're already <laughs> working on another one. Yeah. <laughs> and it better be Saw X. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you, yeah. We, yeah, we talked about that. You, it just yeah. has to be. It has to be. Yeah. Um, all right. Joel, what did you like about this one? So this one was, um, this one was different. Than the previous movies in its collection. I liked that. Um, I liked the whole group dynamic of like the survivors um, having meetings. It makes yeah. sense that you'd go through something this traumatic. There would be meetings. Yeah. There would be groups for this kind of thing. Right. Um, I like that aspect of it. I only recognized two of the survivors. Yeah. Um, there was there were flashbacks for a yeah. couple of them, yeah. And one of them wasn't in any of the movies. I was like, really? Yeah. <laughs> you couldn't have gotten a, another actual survivor, yeah, that we've actually seen, <laughs> or, um, you know, showed us in a right. previous movie, like just something on there, unless it was like a deleted scene or something like that that we never watched, that we never saw, right? Um, but they brought the the woman back. The um, opening scene woman back from yep. Saw 6, yep. which was pretty cool. Um, she didn't really learn. <laughs> no, she didn't. No, She's she like, was, what is this supposed to teach me? <laughs> yeah, she was pretty upset in the last yeah. one, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it makes sense. I mean, you know, most people I don't think would really learn. Yeah. Like, you know, you, you learn um, enough to survive. Yeah. In those, like you, you do what you have to do to survive. But as far as the lesson goes, right, you're just gonna be mad. Yeah, <laughs> like, this person put me in a trap for like yeah. he doesn't know me, he doesn't yeah. know what I what I go through. Um, I liked the group, um, the group the group meetings and everything like that. I liked that they brought back the doctor from Saw One, mm -hmm. Carrie Elwes. Yeah. Um. I will talk about him in a little bit later as well because he's. I think it's it's. I think for for me actually it's more of a mixed feeling. Okay. For for the doctor for bringing him in, it makes sense as far as setting up all the traps and everything like that in the movie. Um, but yeah, it, it's it's kind of a mixed for me. Um, and I I liked the traps in this one, the ones that um, Bobby had to save everybody from or mm -hmm. not <laughs> save everybody from. <laughs> try to <laughs> try yeah <laughs> and this one i don't think he saves anybody um yeah i don't think so yeah and some of them were pretty intense some of those traps and what i was talking about was saw six um about how there was a upcoming movie that has the most intense for me the most intense trap is in this movie okay and that's the one his wife is in at the end. Okay. Where she's burned alive. Oh, okay. I was like, that's really intense. Yeah. Especially for a character. So for the most part, the characters weren't completely innocent when they were in those traps. Like they were involved somehow. Um, like with the health insurance agencies, like they were the ones finding flaws and um, they were the ones helping with the algorithm. No, no, no. In, in the health insurance agency. In six? Yeah, and six. Yeah, yeah. Like they were they were his quote unquote bullpit <laughs> yeah. that he was talking about. So they were also responsible for denying coverage for these yeah. people. Yeah. I unless some of these people were involved in his lie, I think these people were innocent. 
I think they were completely innocent. Um, I think they did. Especially the wife. The wife had no idea. No, she didn't know. But I think the other ones did know that he was he was a fraud. Yeah, Mm -hmm. at least his buddy, his friend, Mm -hmm. um, knew because it showed a scene where Bobby and his friend were like at a bar, and they were watching a news report about jigsaw and how someone survived and his friends like oh man if imagine that you can make a Mm -hmm. ton of money or whatever yeah so So he's the one that gave him the idea yeah okay yeah i think they knew some yeah at least some of them knew his wife had no idea no yeah and she's the one that had the worst trap of (laughs) any saw movies this whole like like, vehicle like just that (laughs) comes up and like (laughs) It was yeah. it was a little crazy. She's like in an oven, basically. Yeah, yeah. It just like this oven just like appears out mm-hmm. of nowhere, like traps her in it. Yeah, I was like, that, that's no, that's that's too much, even for a saw movie <laughs> for a character that's completely innocent. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so um, that's actually, I'm jumping around here because that's actually a negative for me, um, but. I do like the traps for the most part in this movie. Yeah. Um, the opening scene was pretty cool with the with the three people yeah. like on display, basically. Right, right. Um, how one of the guys has to kill the other or the girlfriend will die or yeah. or will all three of them die if they don't if they don't decide because they could have easily just not killed anybody in that scene. No, because the um, girlfriend was going down. She yeah, was she going was going down, down to the saw. But if you move the the saw maybe close to one of the guys, yeah, she could have lived. Yeah, I don't know if there was enough room, but yeah, mm-hmm. I don't know. At least like cut off her leg or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but um, but yeah, so I think she was pretty stupid. Um, <laughs> Flip flopping like she did, like stick yeah. with one person and just. <laughs> yeah, that I did not like that scene. You didn't? No. Oh, okay. No. I think the idea was cool. I liked, um, but like they were, at least she was really stupid as yeah. far as you know. I just had to say that I love you, and you yeah, know, and then yeah. oh, I'm gonna get you. Oh, I love you now. I love you <laughs> too. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> it's like just stick with one of them and yeah. just. <laughs> Um, if I were her, but, um, yeah, so this was a fun one for me. Mm -hmm. Um, it's, I don't know. It's, um, as far as the positives go, I've already mentioned like one of the negatives, (laughs) (laughs) but, um, yeah, I, I'm going to go with a mix now. I think the Carrie Elwes was the one mix that I had for this. And that's just because I liked that he was in it. I, for some reason, remember him being in it more in mm-hmm. theaters for some reason. Hmm. At least it just felt like we saw him more in it <laughs> than we did in this in this one. Yeah. Because um, he's literally in the beginning and the very end of yeah. the movie. Yeah. But he is the one that's been, you know, he is the doctor that they needed right. to be able to do the, the things that they've been doing since right. Saab. Too. Yeah. Um, and so it was necessary to have him in it. Yeah. I liked that they had him in it, but at the same time, it was kind of a cop out to have him in it. Right. It was just sort of a, we need to tie up some, some loose ends. Yeah. So we'll just have, we'll just, you know, pay Carrie Elwes a certain amount of money and have him have a couple of lines in the movie right. Right. <laughs> and be done with it. And that'll, that'll, That'll uh, cover our tracks, basically. Yeah. And um, I thought it was cool having him in it, but at the same time, it felt it just felt like a cop out to me to mm-hmm. have him in it as in the, at the same time. So I mean, they could have they could have you know come up with another side story that they had a another doctor or something that was involved or something yeah. or have one of the survivors be a doctor besides Carrie Elwes. It was just, it just felt like a little bit too much <laughs> right. to have him in the movie. I don't know. It was <clears throat> cool seeing him, but it was yeah. also, yeah. 
So um, those are my positives and my mixed, unless I'm missing anything here, which I don't think that I am. Yeah, I think those are my my positives for it. Okay. It was just a, it's a fun movie. It was yeah. enjoyable for okay. you know a, the seventh edition of any <laughs> right franchise. Like you know, you're not gonna get a whole lot out of it, but it's just you know if it's if it's fun if it. If it gives you the traps that it gave you, like for me, like I was saying, the um, the her getting burned alive was the most intense yeah. trap, and also the Chester Bennington part too. I yeah. like that scene. Yeah, um, he is what glued to the back of a seat. Yeah, yeah, of a car, of a car. Yeah, and has to peel himself off of it to save his friends. Mm-hmm. Um, and his back. I don't know what kind of glue they used <laughs> yeah. for that, but wow. Probably Gorilla Glue. <laughs> Probably, yeah. <laughs> um, but no, that scene was pretty intense. Yeah. Like, everybody dies, <laughs> right. including him. Um, and yeah, just seeing his, his back start, like, peeling off. And yeah. It was... It was good effects. Like, right. it, this movie, if, if anything, has good effects for the most part yeah i think so. um there's some that are a little a little iffy <laughs> throughout the series but overall like the effects for these traps and what happens mm-hmm. to them it's it's pretty intense yeah yeah it and, looks it looks good yeah it does and there was something about the death of jill that kind of i don't know necessarily why maybe it was because she's been in the series throughout like you know starting with number three Mm -hmm. and then they just kill her off in number seven Mm -hmm. it kind of um i don't know it there was sort of a um uneasy feeling (laughs) seeing her die just like that yeah um i don't know it's not even that i necessarily like the character it's just seeing her just you know you see her alive throughout she's one of the only people that have been in like flashbacks and throughout right. the movie that has actually been alive the entire time. Yeah. Yeah. And so to see her like die like that was core of a, maybe this is the final chapter. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, maybe it really it is. Sort of, <laughs> it sort of gave a, um, a, a, a definitive end, I guess, to this mm-hmm. movie, to the franchise. Although, you know, we do get another one, but we don't get another one for another seven years. Mm -hmm. So at this point, it has been quite a while since we did get Jigsaw. Um, So it it definitely felt, and it was, it's weird that it's her to me that made it feel like this was the final one. Right, right. (laughs) Because like the death of Jill. It's like, okay, death of a, of a. C-list character that nobody yeah. really even cares about, <laughs> but she she dies in this yeah. one. So I was just like, okay, having Carrie Elwes come back and wrap everything up was nice, but it was her death that to me felt like it was the final one. Yeah, and uh, yeah, yeah, I so can I, I can see it. I I kind of liked her character um, because yeah. she kind of and, gave us a lot more insight into John. She kind of mm-hmm. helped the audience connect with john a little more through her yeah. um and i mm-hmm. liked in the last one how she kind of set up hoffman um so i kind of yeah. liked her in this one i wasn't a big fan of her um she was kind of annoying with how much screaming she was doing and <laughs> all that but um they kill her off twice in this movie <laughs> yeah yeah once in a dream and yeah yeah um so in this one, I wasn't a big fan, but for the most part, I like the character. So mm-hmm. I see what you mean with her dying. Like, oh man, Saw is <laughs> ending. <laughs> Saw is actually done. Like yeah. this could actually be the last one. Yeah. Um. Okay. So are you done with your positives? <laughs> I, I I think so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. So let's see. What do I like? Um. So there's a flashback scene to the so the the main guy who's being tested Bobby he mm-hmm. is, he writes a book pretending to be a survivor of Jigsaw and his yeah. traps and so that's why he's in these traps because he's a fraud 
um, and mm-hmm. he's making a ton of money off of something that is fake. And you can probably guess that Jigsaw is not a fan of someone pretending <laughs> to yeah, no. to have gone through <laughs> these things. He even got to the point of like, I guess he like faked scars on his chest because his whole yeah. story was he went through a trap which left scars on his chest and he shows them. So mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't know how he got those unless he... he- he must have done it himself at yeah. some point. Be like, okay, this is, it's going to hurt for a little bit, but, you know, I'm going to be rich after this. So. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you need some sort of proof in order right. to to be like, yeah, I'm a, I'm a survivor. People have lost limbs and everything, but I see these couple scars. Yeah. Yeah. Like it's, as far as traps go, um, it's probably the weakest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. As far as what he's trying to do. Yeah. Um, yeah what that's he what goes I through too. at the end is pretty intense. Yeah. But from just those two little tiny scars. Yeah. And people have like lost limbs, have like <laughs> lost, like, you know, have gone through a whole lot more than he's gone through or quote unquote gone through at this point. Um, it seemed kind of weak. Yeah. <laughs> to yeah. Me. Those two little tiny scars. I'm like, okay. Well, right. That's, that's cool, I guess. <laughs> um, but, so that's kind of the backstory. And the part that I liked was when they do a flashback to his book signing and yeah, Jigsaw is there and mm-hmm. talks to him about, you know, his book. And, you know, it, it, it's just like an intense exchange conversation mm-hmm. between the two of them. And I like Jigsaw's character when he mm-hmm. like confronts these people, you know, yeah. and <laughs> they don't even know that it's him you know it's it's pretty cool um when they have scenes like that like with the uh insurance guy from the Mm -hmm. last one his conversation with him and then the book guy in this one um i like that it makes me like john more you know and his voice and just his demeanor he's not just the um yeah he's actually in the forefront for yeah yeah. A lot of these things and not just in the background, like right. putting everything together. <laughs> right. Yeah. He's, he's actually talking to these people. Right. Yeah. Outside mm-hmm. of traps, he's he's there. So Yeah. I liked that scene. Um there's another part that Billy is in. Um <laughs> that was funny. Uh so in the last one he kind of flies up to a window and starts talking. Yeah. <laughs> in this one, he flies through a window. He like flies through, mm-hmm. shatters the window, and <laughs> then he's just a puppet there talking. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like yeah, what? Billy's appearances <laughs> they become more and more frequent. Yeah, throughout the yeah. series. <laughs> it's yeah, it's. Just, I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> it's just so <laughs> funny. Like there's you know he's he gets into a room and you know. And it's dark or whatever, and then he turns the light on, and then a window like smashes, and he looks over, and then it's a puppet talking to him. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's like it's just funny. Um, and he has John's voice, and yeah, it's just it's mm-hmm. so silly, but it makes yeah, me yeah, laugh. It is. <laughs> um, another part, well, a lot of the parts that made me laugh was the three D stuff. So, <laughs> yeah, that's I, kind of a negative for me. I kind of liked it. <laughs> it it looked, it made it look kind of cool to me. With uh, like I feel like they could make movies like this more often, and it wouldn't bother me. It would actually kind of enhance because it's like there's these kills, and then like a body part will go flying at the screen, or mm-hmm. you know, an explosion. It was and- cool. It was a cool scene in theaters. <laughs> I liked it even just watching it but. on my TV. Um, but there's like, one. Duck. Yeah. <laughs> there's one uh, 3D piece at the end that is so stupid. But I really, I just, I think it's fun. Um, mm-hmm. The doctor, Dr. Gordon, gets Hoffman and locks him in the bathroom from the original film from the first one yeah he locks him in he says game over um <laughs> but he throws like, of course he has to say that <laughs> so hoffman's trying to reach for the saw the original saw that's yeah. still there apparently and so is the other bodies they just haven't even cleaned that room up <laughs> <I know. laughs> and, 
<laughs> so that saw is right there and Hoffman's trying to grab it and he picks it up and he's like, no. And then he throws it at the screen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the saw <laughs> comes like toward the screen and then it, you know, then the camera shifts and it lands outside the room. Um, <laughs> and then he yeah, shuts was... the door and says game over. Um <laughs> Him <laughs> throwing the saw was just, it was so dumb. It was all over the top. <laughs> but I liked, I liked the yeah. 3D in some horror movies. Like yeah. My Bloody Valentine was really cool. Yeah. Like that was like made for, for 3D, um, that particular movie. But it just, things just sort of happened <laughs> in yeah. this movie yeah. that, you know, got quote unquote thrown at us. And yeah. it's like, yeah. okay, that's, <laughs> that's kind of, that's kind of cheesy. But. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i i just i don't know i thought it looked cool so mm-hmm. i'll say i'll say even the 3d aspect of this movie i kind of enjoyed yeah um okay uh my positives were kind of like a stretch though <laughs> so <laughs> we'll go into negatives i have more of those oh, okay <laughs> it's kind of similar to what we were talking about with saw six that i mentioned about like the other Saw movies where the one character has to save everybody yeah, yeah. or has to try to save everybody. It didn't bother me in the last one just because, I mean, and this was, I, I, I feel like some of the characters knew about it, but I feel like some of them also didn't. I think more than just the wife didn't know about the traps being sent or about him not actually have gone through. Um, Cause like, why would your wife be the one person you don't tell about that? Like, I don't know. Yeah. It just, um, well, he met her so, through the, through the whole um, fraud. He, mm-hmm. he met her through it. So yeah. he can't tell her cause then she'll know he's a fraud and the whole, yeah, yeah. their whole relationship has been based right. on a lie. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. So it doesn't bother me when characters I don't want to say deserved. <laughs> it's kind of a messed up way of saying it, but um you know how they're they're not entirely innocent in everything. Um like the one in Saw 4, the um the old lady that was actually in the group. Yeah. No, was was that her or was that was that the one in Saw Six that he chose to? Uh, the one, the one in Saw Four, um, which I'm, I'm talking about right now. <laughs> okay. The one that had to save herself from her husband. Yeah. They were yeah. like cut together. She didn't deserve to die. Right. He had he had it coming more than she did. Uh-huh. <laughs> so I don't feel bad that bad about when characters. When um, one character has to make a choice about which one lives and which one dies. Because up until this point, they're not entirely innocent in everything. Right. And so that's, I, I feel like that's what hit me the most with this one is at least the wife <laughs> right. was innocent yeah. in everything. No, definitely. And, um, that was that was definitely a negative for me because especially with what i was talking about before she did not deserve especially a death like that (laughs) like right that was that was was too much (laughs) for the most innocent character in like any of these movies and so where that was a negative for you about having them choose which character lives and which one dies um, it was more so a negative for me with this one because of her, because of the, because of her actually being innocent in everything. Um, and I thought that there are more innocent characters, um, in this one, but she's probably the only actual innocent one. Yeah, I think so. Um, and so that one just kind of, it, it hit differently for me than the other deaths did. <laughs> yeah. And, um. And so that was probably one of my biggest negatives. Um, if more people were innocent that were dying like that, it would have been more of a negative <laughs> for me. But having her die like that was, you know, that was just too much. Yeah. That was too much anyway. Like even if she right. was kind of guilty of something, yeah, <laughs> um, that was that was too much. <laughs> 
Like, you know, people, characters get limbs. Like, they, you know, their heads get cut off and <laughs> limbs get cut off. That's fine. <laughs> but she was burned alive. Well, that was... there was another guy who was burned alive in the second one. The um, bald guy. He had to go into this, like, furnace to get his, to get a key or something. Mm-hmm. And it like the door, but like, he was shut guilty of him. something. No, he was. I I think that's the thing. Like, yeah, burning alive is horrible. That's probably yeah. the worst death of any of these, anyway. But it it hits differently when it happens yeah. to an actual innocent person in these right. movies. Right, right, right. Um. So I think that was like my biggest one. Um. Also. The 3D, you had it as a positive. I, it's, I, I don't know. It was fine <laughs> in in theaters when we saw it in 3D. That was that was fine. Like, you know, we had the glasses and everything for it. Um, it, but it's still kind of cheesy. <laughs> and I am glad that 3D has kind of died out. It has, yeah. There was a couple years, like literally a couple of years, <laughs> yeah. that it was popular. But um, I am I am glad that it's died out because it really doesn't enhance anything. Yeah. It doesn't make something better right. to have something thrown at you. <laughs> um, <laughs> if it were like virtual I think reality, it that'd does. be a whole different thing. But... <laughs> I, I thought it did in this one. It it made it because this movie altogether to me is not a good movie, but mm-hmm. that kind of made it a little more fun. So if it was a better movie and then that was thrown in there, then it would kind of ruin the movie. But yeah. for some reason, that being thrown in there kind of made it a little more entertaining, a little more fun to me. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, if it was more serious and <laughs> yeah, then it would be okay. You're ruining it. So yeah, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if that makes sense, but <laughs> no, it, yeah, it, it does. I mean, if it's if it's supposed to be taken incredibly serious, yeah, and then you th- have a limb get thrown at you or something <laughs> like then that that'd be ridiculous but to me it kind of i mean you know for a saw movie it was kind of serious like there were yeah. some pretty intense oh it's supposed scenes to in be. this movie oh, yeah. yeah no it's definitely supposed to be serious mhm um so I, I also didn't like the main character i didn't like bobby obviously yeah. you're not really supposed to um I think he did a good job acting in it. Now it's, that's not the problem. It's just the character itself. Yeah. Um, the fact that, like, knowing all of this stuff is going on and how these people are randomly chosen, why would you even want to risk yeah. faking something like that? Being yeah. on national television, he's, someone's going to see you. The one who sets this all up at this point isn't dead. <laughs> He's yeah. still alive yeah. doing all this stuff. So why would you risk getting trapped in an actual trap mm-hmm. by this guy just to make some money? Like, it doesn't make any sense. Um, it, I mean, to a certain extent it does because everyone's trying to, you know, make money off of something, I guess. But at the same time, I wouldn't risk it. I wouldn't yeah. want to <laughs> risk possibly having this guy come up to me and you know um putting me in one of his traps like, yeah I wouldn't he, was, wanna he even... wasn't dead at that point so he wasn't dead he was still yeah. alive like, yeah he saw he he walked up to him at one of his signings like <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's probably gonna piss him off probably not the one you want to piss off exactly and it's just like i don't it 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 makes sense to a certain extent because, every, like I was saying, everybody wants to get rich off of you know not doing anything. <laughs> but it doesn't make sense because you risk being in one of his traps at some yeah, point. Yeah. Like it, I don't know his character. I didn't, I didn't like. But like I said, you're not supposed to like his character. So, right, right. Um, but yeah, I think that was about it okay. for me. All right. Um, so I have yeah. a few. Um. The opening scene, I thought it was bad acting, 
It had nothing yeah. to do with any of the movie, any of any of the movies, really. None of these characters mm -hmm. mattered. How the hell was this set up <laughs> in the middle <laughs> of the public? That's yeah. that's interesting. Um, <laughs> but yeah, usually the opening scene like is connected to They're something connected at some point. Yeah. yeah, this had nothing to do with anything. Um, yeah. Overall, the acting in the movie I didn't think was very good. Um, mm -hmm. That again, kind of a lot of background music throughout every scene. Um, it just bugs me. It it, <laughs> it makes it. I don't know why it bugs me so much, and I can't put my finger on what it is that it makes. It just makes it feel like a TV show. I don't know how else to describe it, but yeah, it it makes it. No, it feel cheap to me and so i don't know i don't like all of the background music um i still don't understand how hoffman is setting up all these traps it's it's just too much yeah i know <laughs> yeah and and i know the doctor was involved in some of the original traps which mm -hmm. from the first three movies which makes sense. I don't know if anybody was asking these questions, like how did they sew his eyes shut and how did this happen? Mm -hmm. You know, I don't know if any fans were, you know, thinking about that. So yeah, you know, they threw him and in that, there to and that, to explain yeah. it. But and that's why he was a mixed for me. Yeah, it was cool seeing him come back, but at the same time, it was unnecessary. Like, yeah, it's, it's just to um, you know, for for plot holes basically. Yeah. To, yeah. We'll just but, bring the doctor back. Right. Yeah. And, yeah, but it wasn't plot holes anybody cared about. <laughs> like, I don't even think people <laughs> we were, were like... talking about it in the in the first couple movies, though. Like this had to have been done by like a doctor. Like yeah. some of the some of the stuff that so Right, right. Yeah. I don't know if enough people really cared. At this point, I don't think anybody cared. Uh, it, yeah. By the seventh movie, <laughs> I don't think anybody is like, How did they do that back in the second movie? You know? Mm -hmm. I don't I don't know, but yeah. it, it was kind of cool to tie it up and it made sense as to why he was involved. Um, mm -hmm. But it's a negative because nobody cared about any of that stuff. And it's another accomplice. Now we're yeah. on our third accomplice now. And it just, it makes mm -hmm. Jigsaw not as cool when <laughs> you just, he keeps having to have all these other people help him. He's, he's not as cool anymore. Mm -hmm. Um. Well, they had to do something. I mean, he died in the third movie. Yeah, yeah. We're on number seven. Yeah. So. No, yeah, like, I mean. You know, you, you just don't have a couple. <laughs> yeah. Just don't make them anymore. <laughs> um, so, uh, the trap with Jill, with her, you know, the reverse bear trap Which one? on her face. <laughs> oh, yeah. <the laughs> yeah. Reverse, yeah. <laughs> uh, well, there's that one, and then she gets, <laughs> so... The dream. And that was another 3D moment too. Yeah. The dream. <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> now Hoffman has this like a vehicle set up and like yeah. has her like tied up on like a train track or something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it just looks so bad. Like, man, you yeah. had to set up this whole why couldn't you just run her over with a car? Like, why'd you have to make this whole like medieval looking vehicle. I know it was and yeah it, it was like, ridiculous cuts her in half and her but he doesn't actually make it though no so. no it was it was not real so <laughs> yeah he's probably just wishing he can make it um but yeah that was it, her dream <laughs> was her oh yeah it was her dream. yeah that's right yeah um but yeah she he's gets dream of her own her, death <laughs> yeah cut in half so mm -hmm. there was that and then her uh the reverse bear trap on her head um yeah that looked classic yeah classic classic saw, um, <laughs> saw. Yeah. it looked ridiculous though like <laughs> when it actually <laughs> yeah when it actually opens yeah it did oh my gosh <laughs> it looked <laughs> it was a little much um <laughs> it's like a giant hole in her face now okay? yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. That, was pretty, that was pretty bad <laughs> And I'm I'm done with the whole traveling from room to room, and you have to try yeah. to say I'm just done with that. Like, let's go back to basics. Let's go back to one room, two people. Mm -hmm. You know, saw was. I'm so hoping good. that's what Spiral will do. Yeah, I don't want it to be so big. You know, mm -hmm. like let's just make it a little more basic, a little more grounded, and 
realistic. And yeah. so, you know, the last few movies, well, a lot of the movies, I think most of the franchise has a character going from room to room and trying to mm-hmm. save people. And it's just, okay, we've seen that, done that, been there. Let's, yeah. let's do something different. And mm-hmm. they didn't. So, um, yeah, those are, those are my negatives. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's, you know, it's, it's hard to, you're like, saying it's not the it. best. <laughs> it, it is. I, I do like that. They kind of wrapped everything up. Mm-hmm. Um, it literally could have just ended with this one. Like they don't need to go any further. It did a, a good enough job wrapping up the story. Yeah. Um, that, you know, it, for that, I do like it a little bit. <laughs> okay. Um, for it, you know, you know, for bringing the doctor back, being a mixed thing, but it's also it also helped wrap it up at the same yeah. time. Yeah. Having him involved, and so my mixed, it's it's more towards positive than negative. It's still a mix, but it's more towards positive because it did help wrap up the story. Yeah. Um, a little bit. <laughs> and so I I do like that. I think that's going to earn it another like percent or two okay. for me. Okay. Um but yeah, are you ready for grading it? Yeah, let's do it. All right. This one it's honestly it's probably gonna be like right in the middle for me. Um I'm gonna give it like a seventy eight. I liked a little bit more than six. Okay. Um, but yeah, it's 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 right in the middle <laughs> okay. for me, for the most part. Um, I'm going sixty one. Sixty one. Yeah. Oh, okay. This is one of my what least was the favorites. twist? In uh, this the movie. doctor, I guess. Well, he was already in the movie. Like he he was in the beginning of the movie. <laughs> he was, but you didn't know that he was gonna capture. Mm. Um. Hoffman at the end, you thought yeah, that Hoffman, you know, defeated Jill and he was gonna be good to go. And um, yeah. then the doctor shows up and you learn how he's been helping Jigsaw and mm-hmm. so I guess that's the twist. Um It's I mean it's I, kind of a weak twist, but it is. But at the same time, that's the that's the part that gave that bumped it up a percent or two for me. Because yeah. that's what helped wrap up the story. Right. Um, the Saw story. So it is kind of a weak twist <laughs> compared to some <clears throat> of the other ones. A yeah. couple of the other ones, actually, not even some, a couple. Because um, some of the twists in these movies are pretty weak. Um, but at the same time, it did help wrap up the story. So yeah. I will I will give it some credit, <laughs> I guess. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, um, Hoffman is just crazy in this one, too. He just goes yeah. on a murdering spree. Um, <laughs> yeah, he does. To- He's like trying to get to Jill, and so he's just killing everybody. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Um. So yeah, and you find out that he was like a dirty cop for a while, um, because he just went and shot this homeless guy, mm-hmm. uh, you know, after he had his hands up and everything. Yeah. He just kind of killed this homeless guy. The internal affairs guy. He. I can't believe I didn't mention this. He was some an actor trying to be Christian Bale. He kind of looked like Christian Bale <laughs> and he really wanted to be Christian Bale. <laughs> like I felt yeah. like he was someone trying to play a Christian Bale character and he kind of had a look like him too. So, I thought that was I don't know. I didn't really like it. I thought you're not Christian Bale, man. <laughs> Just <laughs> yeah. Uh, I thought I thought he looked at least his appearance looked more like a Ryan Gosling type. Okay, yeah, <laughs> but I can I can see Christian Bale too in that. Yeah. It's like he was he was trying too hard in this movie. <laughs> yeah, and didn't do a good job. Yeah, he so was... yeah, I, I forgot about him yeah. too, which you know goes to show that he's a forgettable character. Yeah, and he's one of the main he's characters. one of the main characters. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he uh, but he ends yeah. up dying too. But um, but yeah. yeah. So, uh, Hoffman just kills a lot of people. That was, Mm -hmm. that was the point there. Yeah. Um, okay. Anything else? Um, no, 
All right. Not that I can think of. Yeah, I think we've uh, covered our positives and negatives for this movie. Okay, cool. So, all right. Well, we are in the home stretch here. One more movie to go, and then spiral. Yep. And then we've got a ranking list after yes, that. We will rank so, it. Three more Saw episodes to go. Yep. <laughs> Um, okay. That sounds so crazy to think that we're on seven right now and we still have three more episodes to go <laughs> for the Saw series. Yep. <laughs> All right. Um, okay. Go find us on Facebook right now at Scare Talk Podcast, <laughs> on Twitter right now at Scare Talk Pod, and on Instagram right now, right now. at Scare so Talk. <laughs> <laughs> uh, give us a rating on Apple Podcasts. Tell your friends. Uh, send us a message. Give us a review. And yeah, talk to us. All right. That's it. Sleep tight. Don't let Billy Boy bite. <laughs> <laughs>